here at uh, Monte Casino for the battle 2023 powered by Puma. And off we go. Heat number one is underway. These are your top teams at the moment. Remember, Heat one and Heat two are the top 30 teams in the open division. You got lane one, a Kyle Army Chaos Squad. Lane two, A, B, and J. Lane three, the Lions Pack. Lane four, a tiny guy named Keegan. Lane five, NT Commandos. Lane six, Kema Chaos. Lane seven, Top Gun Mavericks. Lane eight, VTOM uh, Buddies 3.0. Lane nine, Pack Life KSF. Lane 10, possibly top 10. Lane 11, uh, Art Axes JTL. Lane 12, the Exiles, Lane 13, Dacha Boys, Lane 14, The Rental Guys, Lane 15, RTF Rogue. Alright, and there we have it. Our leaders at the moment. Lane number one, Kyle Army Chaos Squad. And then we got AB and J and the Lions Pack. Lions Pack not too far behind. The rental guys on your screen at the moment. And already you got those top three battling it out at the moment. Lane one, lane two, and lane three going head to head. All of them choosing to go with a double athlete. Remember, they can go single athlete if they want. And just absolutely flying on those hands is Ruan Potgieter. Just one step down, back up he goes. And watching this man on his hands is basically like watching a, an elite runner. Glasses comes off there. He, he doesn't care. He's just going to carry on. And they back to their toes to bar for round number two. Clear leaders at the moment, but not too far behind. We have lane two and three. That is A, B, and J, and the Lions pack. Lions pack all the way from PE. And here they are, your top three squads. Lane number four here in the mix as well, a tiny guy named Keegan. And then lane number five, NT Commandos. Onto those bar muscle up burpees. Or should I say burpee bar muscle ups? They're about uh, four reps ahead of lane number two at the moment. Getting nice and high on the bar, lane one and two. You'll see they're barely using their triceps and that's exactly what you want. You want to try to save those triceps a little bit. It's a, one of those uh, underrated muscles that a lot of people don't actually focus on. But when you're doing anything above your head, if you're doing handstands, your triceps actually help lock out. And especially if you are on the HWPO uh, training program, you'll know that Matt Frazier talks a lot about using your triceps, especially for your handstand walks. Uh, your handstands as well as your overhead work those triceps help so much to lock out that bar or your elbows for those handstand walks and lane number one still in the lead but it looks like only two reps i think it is they are in the lead at the moment so a little bit of fatigue i think maybe setting in remember that grip 
is going to start taxing now. This is where you start seeing that grip making a game changer. It's going to be who has the better grip between these athletes because I don't think the pulling is an issue. It's going to be that grip. Christian going up there for a double. And lane number two now, your new lead is there. I think lane one actually got no rep a couple of times there, maybe not controlling them uh, all the way down. And yeah, you have it. Lane number two currently in the lead by three reps. But lane number one looks like they're about to get that lead once again. So it looks like it is neck and neck between lane one, lane two, and lane three. Kailami Chaos in one, A, B, and J in two, and then the Lions Pack in lane number three. I had a chance to speak to the Lions Bay earlier on, and they said they definitely want to come here for a podium spot, and they're currently sitting in third. Will they be able to hang on to that third or even make their way to the number one spot? You can see there, lane number four, choosing to go with a single on those uh, deadlifts. And that is a tiny guy named Keegan in lane four. Lane one at the moment. And lane two battling out. Lane two still in the lead. And uh, that is uh, a, a, B, and J. And you can see there your top five. And it looks like out there right in the back, it looked like V-Town buddies in lane A 3.0 chasing down the top five at the moment. Will they be able to jump in and uh, maybe throw a spanner in the works? And Ruan and uh, Jason on the bar now. They're your new leaders. They've uh, made their way back into that number one spot. Lane number 12 there, the Exiles. They were on your screens there. Thor. Lane 5, the NT uh, Commandos, Top Gun Mavericks, Pack Life KSF. And it looks like Lane 1, still your leaders at the moment. And they are starting to make a bit of a separation here. That transition took a little bit longer. And not much time left here. Remember, once they get to round three, they stay in round number three. It becomes their own little mini AMRAP. So it's an AMRAP of 10 minutes, but you work your way from round one, round two, and then you jump into round three. You don't come back to round one. You stay in round three, and uh, you do a mini AMRAP with the remaining time for uh, round at number three, which all these athletes are in at the moment. You can see there the grip starting to take a bit of fatigue, and you can generally tell when uh, the athletes start fatiguing there in the biceps and um, those uh, the hands and the grip starts fatiguing is when they're coming down on the rope not an easy movement and i know it's one that a lot of athletes don't train they they teach you the ro uh, the rope climb technique the j hook most of the time and then most athletes will just stick with that constantly getting that technique right and then all of a sudden crossfit will throw something new into the books like those legless rope climbs not new basically it's a it's an old method but uh new in the current season and of course a lot of these athletes on the floor right now were representing uh themselves at the CrossFit semi-finals. <laughs> so love to have them here at the battle, battling it out for that number one spot. And it looks like we are going to have an absolute humdinger here as Ruan has got the lead for his team here once again. But man, it is back and forth at the moment. Ruan, quick little look over to the rest of the field. He sees that lane two, A, B, and J right there. He puts one foot down, steps up, and off he goes. And he's opening up just a little bit there. It looks like lane number four is currently in third, a tiny guy named Keegan. And the Lions pack falling off the pace here just a little bit. They might see themselves dropping down into fourth place if lane number four beats him. That's a tiny guy named Keegan. 
and that is time here and lane number one they walked away there with the win in this heat but but that was came down to that final handstand walk where Ruan absolutely walked away with that one that is number one Kyle Army Chaos Squad taking the number one spot here in heat number one next up we got heat number two for the open don't go anywhere heat number two they're looking to make their way into heat number one